Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This uh, video is about Zener Clipper Circuit and Regulator Circuit. And this is on the request of a student from Bangladesh. Okay, so let's uh, get into the basic. This is the simple circuit with the Zener diode. And we are applying a sinusoidal signal at the input. Now, this 6 volt means the Zener diode breakdown voltage is 6 volt. So at 6 volt, this will break down and it will give a fixed output of 6 volt. No more changes. But before that, this will behave like an open circuit. So let's take the first half. Positive half applied. The diode will behave like a uh, in forward bias because positive is touching positive of the diode. And we know for any diode, it will the positive uh, can be represented by a 0 0.7 volt battery so that is true in case of a zener as well so our output will now be 0 0.7 volt like this now about negative cycle okay now if the if it was an ideal diode then instead of 0 0.7 it should be just 0 volt now the negative half cycle negative up and uh, positive down. Now this diode is reverse bias. Now there are only two phenomena. When this voltage is increasing towards the negative side, uh, this will behave, this diode will behave like an open circuit till 6 volt is achieved across here. So what will happen? The input will be reproduced at the output because this is open circuit. So this is also going down and it has not reached 6 volt up to this point. Now the moment this volt becomes 6 volt then the, this will be replaced by a battery. So this will be replaced by a 6 volt battery and the polarity of the battery will be according to the input sign. So negative top, negative top of the battery. Okay now the output will be negative 6 volt. So with this will have a six, negative 6 volt limit here. So this is 6 volt. So this is limiting the output to 6 volt. And the net result will be the combination of the two. So you see this is 0 0.7 and negative 0 0.6. So this is how the circuit will clip uh, the input. And the question of regulation actually comes that if let's say we want uh, this to be 9 volt, then we'll put a 9 volt Gina diode here. So that is how we can achieve a uh, uh, little bit of a desired result or regulated output. Now the Gina diode clipping circuit, while clipping the signal, also reshapes it. So uh, this is one point you have to keep in mind, that this is a sinusoidal wave. But when it passes through a clipping circuit, this is slightly changed into like a trapezoidal or a squarish wave, uh, and uh, the, it is limiting the top. Now let's uh, solve an example sent by the student. Sketch the output voltage V0 for the input 10 sine 50T. So the input will have a peak of 10 volt. Given that the VD is 0 0.7 volt for silicon, so these are all silicon diodes, so they'll have a 0 0.7 volt when they're conducting. And VZ is 5 volt for the zener, so this is 5 volt. So let's apply the positive half cycle, so 10 volt here. Now the, in the positive, two things will happen. First of all, these diodes will become reverse bias, positive at the top, so the diodes will become reverse bias. That means they will become open circuit. So open circuit. This diode will become forward bias. And so we'll replace it by a 0 0.7 volt battery. And this is the breakdown voltage is 5 volts. So ultimately, uh, this will lock at 5 volt. So what will be the output now? This is locked at 5 volt and 0 0.7, so the output will be 5.7. 5 for the zener and 0 0.7 for the diode. Now the negative half cycle, 
in the negative half, this will become reverse bias. So no current will flow through this. And these three diodes will become forward bias. So each will be replaced by 0 0.7 volt. And now you can see that the output is fixed by these three diodes. It will be negative uh, 2.1 volt, 7.7.7.7. 7, 7, 7. So negative 2.1 volt. So the wave shape will now become like this. 5.7 positive half, negative 2.1 volt for the negative half. Okay, now uh, slightly trickier it becomes when we have two diodes back to back, double diodes. So it could be either this design or it could be the, the mouse stasis going up here and the mouse stasis are inwards in this case. So let's solve uh, these. Now we have taken two different voltages for the diodes. This has a breakdown of 5.1, this has a breakdown of 3.3 .3 volt. So let's take the positive half cycle, positive half, positive here, negative here. Now, the only thing we need to determine which diode is going to be forward and which is reverse. So you can see when positive touches positive, this will become a forward bias. So we'll replace this by 0 0.7 volt board battery. This is uh, the second diode is becoming a reverse bias so will uh, this will restrict the output to a uh, 3.3 volt so for this we need a 0 0.7 this is replaced by 0 0.7 and this is replaced by an open circuit up to 3.3 or slightly less than 3.3 volt because this will break down at 3.3 so up to 3.3 this will behave like an open circuit And so, since this whole thing is open circuit, whatever is at the input will go a, a, across the output. So to get an up to get up to 3.3 volt, this one across Zener, the input has to be 7, 0 0.7 plus 3, that is 4 volt. So we need to apply 4 volt only. Then this will be 3.3 and breakdown will happen. But before that, before 4 volt application, what will happen? That let's say the input is now 3.99 .3, volt, then this will, the whole circuit will become like an open circuit. And so whatever is, is the input will be at the output. So the input will be reproduced at the output. So this will be like this is going up, only this portion. Okay, and the moment the input increases to 4 volt then this diode will be replaced by a battery of 3.3 this was already 0.7 so the total is now 4 volt at the output so this is will be locked this was going up earlier up to this point and now it is locked at 4 volt so this is the output uh, for the positive half cycle And we just for memorizing or for ease of understanding, we can write that Vz of whichever diode is reversed. Now this is reversing so 3.3 plus 0 0.7 for the forward bias. The so total is 4. Now the uh, negative half cycle, now in this case, this will reverse bias and this will become forward. So exactly the same technique will follow. This will be open circuit up to 5 or slightly less than 5 and this will be uh, 0 0.7 volt. So to get up to 5.1 volt across the Zener, the input has to be 0 0.7 plus 5.1 that is 5.8 volt negative. And slightly before that, that is if the input is up to the uh, 5.1 Seven nine, then this will behave like an open circuit. Whatever is in the input will be at the output. So this only up to this line we have reached. Okay, the moment input is more than uh, five uh, five point eight or equal to five point eight, 
this diode will now be replaced by a 5.1 volt battery and so the total output will be 5.1 plus 7 5.8 the negative 5.8 it has locked at this point so we can say that the uh, uh, vz uh, of the uh, reverse bias so this was the reverse bias that is 5.1 plus 0 0.7, so 5.8 is the answer. And so this is our final result. We had earlier a positive half 4, 4 volt lock, and the negative half now is minus 5.8. Okay, so if the, the, the diodes are back to back, then the simple point to remember is just look for which one is getting a reverse bias. So in the, like here, in the positive half cycle, this is going reverse bias. So we'll write that, the voltage of that, plus 0 0.47 for the other one. And that will be the magnitude. And similarly, in the negative half, whichever diode is reverse bias, we'll write the voltage of that diode, plus 0 0.7. Now this is only valid during back-to-back -back connection. Okay, now let's do some uh, two examples by just following this technique. Now, uh, this is the uh, uh, configuration. Now, look from here at the positive half, which diode is becoming reverse bias. So, you can see this is becoming a reverse bias. So, 5.8 for this and 0 0.7 for this, this will become forward bias. So total 5.8 will be the output during the positive half. So 5.8 is the output during the positive half. So we have taken the voltage of the one which is getting a reverse bias, that is 5.8 with 0 0.7. Now in the second half, this one will become a reverse bias. So 3.3 and with that we'll add 0 0.7. So it will be 3.3, 0 0.7, so negative 4 volts. So this is the final answer. It will look neat diagram like this. Now there's another one, a similar question, but now the MOSFETs are outside. Voltages are also different, so, but we'll follow same technique. During the positive half, now this one will become reverse bias. So you can see positive here. So 6.2 plus 0 0.7. Six point two plus zero point seven, six point nine during the positive half, and the negative half is fifteen, along with zero point seven, so minus fifteen point seven. So this is the final answer. Okay. Now the question sent by the student is this: We have already done just the directions of the MOSFETs are different here, I think. So we'll just follow the same technique. Positive half, this will be reverse bias. So 5.8, uh, 5.1 plus 7. This is reverse bias during the positive half. So 5.1 plus 7, so 5.8. And in the negative cycle, this will become a reverse bias. So 3.3 plus 7, 3.3 plus 7 is minus 4. So this is the answer of this question. And the answer given by the student is this one. I think this is not correct. This, what he has assumed is that the diodes are ideal diodes. So instead of 0 0.7, uh, he has considered this to be zero volt. And then it, okay, but unless it is mentioned across the diode that these are ideal diodes, we should not assume them to be ideal. Anyway, I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your comments. Thank you.